the race to find a treatment for COVID-19. Scientists investigating whether any drugs already in our arsenal can be effective. A frantic fight is underway to slow a global pandemic. We stockpile for wars, but we don't stockpile for infections. This is the front lines of a round-the-clock fight against a silent killer. It's just not clear, and, and for that reason, it truly has been a race against the clock. Nevin Krogan is director at the Quantitative Biosciences Institute at the University of California, San Francisco. He's on a critical mission, trying to find any already FDA-approved drugs that can slow the coronavirus. There's a lot of effort out there trying to develop drugs to target the virus. Uh, which is great. We're taking a different approach. Nevin is not focusing on the virus, but its host, us. He broke down the DNA of the virus, finding it has 29 proteins, and then followed the virus's attack to find which of our more than 20,000 proteins it interacts with. He found about 40. That information, critical, narrowing down where to focus, a roadmap for scientists. Kayvon Shokat says he's already found about 60 drugs, more than 20 which are already FDA approved that interact with the same protein as the virus. He is still looking for more. We're looking in step by step. We're starting at the exact protein, but we're branching out and expanding that list to see what we have that could sort of cordon off. Uh, the virus. The map and the first round of those drugs have been shipped across the world to two labs that can test the live virus, the Pasteur Institute in Paris and New York's Mount Sinai Hospital. You said it's all hands on deck. Absolutely. This is all hands on deck. So I actually propose it to my team. Everybody will volunteer. It's like, because we really have to prioritize right now. These scientists just part of the hundreds in labs around the world working together in this new normal of social distancing. Urgency is making us realize we need to collaborate, and I think we're changing the paradigm of how to do science. Krogan is hoping to post this roadmap online for all scientists to see and use. This unprecedented international collaboration, he hopes, will help flatten the curve. It's the, the chance to have an impact on something that is a worldwide public health crisis. And joining us this morning from San Francisco is Nevin Krogan, director of the Quantitative Biosciences Institute at UCSF. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I know you have not been sleeping. I want to start first. Tell us more about the help you're getting from scientists all over the world in this search for a treatment. Yeah, it's actually been quite astounding. Um, starting here in San Francisco, there's been 22 different laboratories that have essentially dropped everything they're doing. Uh, this is at the Quantitative Biosciences Institute and the Gladstone Institute, the University of California, San Francisco, as corresponding to hundreds of scientists just to focus on studying this virus together. And as you alluded to, um, we're trying to generate this map. We've finalized this map. Uh, there's several hundred proteins that we've identified uh, in the, the human cell that the virus hijacks during the course of infection. And now we've identified, as you say, over 60 uh, drugs and compounds that we think can have an effect. Unfortunately, we don't have the virus growing here. Uh, but a uh, scientist in New York at Mount Sinai Hospital and um, at the Pasteur Institute in Paris do, and we're testing those compounds. And, and Kayvon Shoykat and Brian Shoykat were key in identifying those drugs and compounds. And I know you're waiting on test results from that first batch of drugs that you shipped out. When will you have those results, and, and what's your next strategy, the next steps that scientists like you will take? Well, we sent out 10 uh, drugs last week to both New York and Paris, and I'm waiting for a phone call from Adolfo Garza Garcia um, in the next couple of hours at Mount Sinai. I'm hoping to see, hear some positive results. And um, a scientist in Paris tell me tomorrow they'll have the first set. We've sent out another 12 drugs. They'll be testing those shortly thereafter. And we're posting all of our findings um, by the end of the day on uh, open source um, publication format, BioArchive, so that people can see our proteins, can see our predictions, our drug predictions, see if they want to test them, see if they can come up with other uh, predictions uh, so this information will be available to the community very, very soon. Yeah, it's such amazing work that you guys are doing. Thank you so much Great. for your time this morning, Nevin. Yeah. And he's posting that map online for all scientists to see. It's one of those rare moments in time where people put aside their egos and they're just working towards one cause. It's beautiful to see. And these guys, just like the healthcare workers, these guys are the heroes. And if we can find treatment, it's possible we could not just flatten the curve, but bend the curve, which mm -hmm. would be amazing. Also, kudos to you. Your science background's really shining <laughs> through this morning. <laughs> High-level nerdery from uh, Eva Pilgrim. We love it. Well, hey,
Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.